I am bound and determined to completely fill up my ashes bottle. And this is the water oak that sh shed so many limbs. I mean, you can see some small ones there and there. I'll bet you this one will top off that bottle. Let's go ahead and start it burning. All right, let's start the fire with some tulip poplar. And we'll make shavings and fair rod ignite them. Chain fire rod, three and an eighth by five sixteenths, and a nicely sharpened Moore companion spine. All right, let's see how we did. I think we're gonna have plenty of ashes to fill up the bottle because the level is about right here. And somebody asked me about the name brand on this bottle. I told them that I got it at the Goodwill store for a dollar and I haven't been able to find any more like it that has an opening that big. But you can faintly see that this is a Sub-Zero. So I guess you could order it.
try to stand in the way of the wind. Well, the wind is coming from right here, so I can't really stand in the way of it. And a little bit of char left over. <laughs> we got enough ash now, I know. Filled to the top, just enough room for the threads of the cap. Good. Let's do something different. Let's uh, try it out on some fabric. And here is some terry cloth. And the tag reads 100% cotton. So let's give that a try. I'm gonna cut this seam off of here. Let's go a one inch strip by four inches. Usually you would want, when you do fabric, you'd want some worn out fabric. This is still kind of thick, which is gonna make it a little bit more difficult. That's not a problem. Everybody's always wanting to know, well, can you use a t-shirt? They're 100% cotton. There's something about the way they're woven and they're stretchy. There's only one man that I know that's ever done t-shirt material and that's Boggy Creek Beast. Uh, and I've probably tried 50 times in my life and have not even come close to making a t-shirt material fire roll ignite. Right down onto the ground. I see smoke. See, now I could tell it doesn't matter if it doesn't matter if that tag said that it was 100% cotton. The way it's crispy and melted like plastic, there's this is not 100% cotton. Might not even be 50%. You can feel it. That is all melted and hard. Let me see if I can find some fabric that is 100% cotton. I can't find anything. Let's try my sweat rag right here. Now that is really thick, Terry. That is gonna take a lot of work to get ignition on that. <laughs> that is a big fire roll. But it's got to be 100% cotton. It's not going to work if it, if it, you know, if it's the fabric is a blend, it's just not going to work.
too much fabric. If we get it kind of thready there at the end, that leading edge will stay wrapped up instead of trying to come undone. the first time I ever made an ignition just with forward rolls that's one way to deal with this leading edge wanting to come unraveled all the time I've tried to make ignitions just with forward strokes before Never was able to do it. That is going to be well worth experimenting with again someday. Let's see if I get my whole body in the shot plus the fire roll. Loblolly pine needles. Do me a favor now, before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.